So we're talking about keloids today. So what is a keloid? A keloid is an overgrowth of tissue that grows outside of the boundaries of the wound. Uh, keloids are more common in pigmented individuals. And so some people have a, a higher tendency to, are predisposed to forming keloids. If you have a family history of keloids or if you've had keloids from previous scars, you're more likely uh, to develop them. The reason they're so problematic is, is actually just an overgrowth of tissue. So when your body's healing, like let's say you have an uh, uh, injury to your skin, and instead of going through the normal healing process, is stuck in an inflammatory phase where your body keeps producing collagen. So let me just show you. So this is normal skin right here. So if you just kind of go right there, it's not all the way through the skin. That's like a tattoo. Tattoos kind of go in and it's just going through the dermis. But once you go completely through the dermis, this is where you can end up with a keloid when it's full thickness injury. The other reason that they are so problematic is because they can, they're can they symptomatic. You can have pain, you can have itching, and they can oftentimes be un unsightly. Like uh, if they're developed anywhere in your face, chest, uh, exposed body parts, people really don't like the way that they look. And so the way that we treat them here at Nip and Tuck Plastic Surgery is we excise them and we treat them postoperatively with the radiation is superficial. And the role of radiation is to prevent that um, inflammatory phase from continuing. So it halts or ceases the inflammatory phase, allows your body to heal in a normal fashion. But because of the proximity to the other one, I tried to close this. It would put more unnecessary tension on this and more than likely cause the incision to open up. So we're gonna leave this open and let it heal on its own. And that's called secondary tension. There are some downsides to the radiation are uh, the scar. Uh, one thing is it causes hyperpigmentation. So the scar doesn't look like a normal scar. Like you may have a normal scar, but around it will be a halo of hyperpigmentation. And over time, the scar can kind of change colors or you can have what we call dyschromia where there's dark areas and light areas. But overall, I think it gives you the best chance of healing. Uh, the downside, like I said, aesthetically, uh, the hyperpigmented areas.